Shall we start? Yes. The master class today is about reprogramming our mind. Reprogramming our mind. How many of you guys have tried uh, hypnosis in your life? Hypnosis? Uh, meditation? One of the reasons I included reprogramming your mind is because although we use philosophy and asking ourselves questions like is it true, is it kind, is it useful, generally self-reflection, there is also a deeper level which I didn't want to leave out of my method where you can reprogram your mind, reprogram, your, hack your mind, some people like to say, mm -hmm. mind hacking, <coughs> um, scientifically speaking, okay. All of these techniques, whether it's meditation, hypnosis, autogenous training, yoga nidra, a hundred thousand techniques that everyone has called with their own name, uh, they, the purpose of all of these is to get us into what is called alpha brain wave state. Alpha brain wave. Have you ever heard of alpha no, brain wave state? Can you explain that a bit? This no. diagram shows that what the brain wave charts did you get that page? 111 mm -hmm. at the end. 111 at the end. So first you have beta state, right? Beta brain waves, right? That is right now, hopefully. That means that you are alert. Mm -hmm. You're in an alert state. And as you can see further down, we have alpha waves. Alpha waves. Here we are. These are alpha waves, okay? That is the meditative state, a receptive state. Your brain is in a receptive state. Programming state. Programmable TV, state. When we're, like, uh, when we're watching TV, sometimes it depends on the show because mm -hmm. if it's a, but generally all this flashing and flickering from the screen puts us into trance well, we very well. Yeah, I'll just say, we come back from work and we're tired and the advertising company right. know that because we're tired. Mm -hmm. We go into sort of like a daydreaming. Daydreaming. That's yeah. how you yeah. program about. Receptive. Receptive. So yeah. they know how to program us with that. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. The television, the advertisers know, know this one. Uh, so the theta is when you are deeply relaxed and delta is when you're sleeping. <laughs> okay. So... Why I say this now, what, is it, what are all these waves? You know, very few people know that the brain produces what? Electricity, bioelectricity. Your brain has the capacity at any given moment to light a light bulb. Your brain, um, the firing of the neurons, as we're thinking, the neurons are being fired in your brain, all right? This little thing is bioelectricity. It's, 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 it's made from the chemistry of your brain, chemistry, and it creates electricity enough to light, a, a, you know, a, a small light bulb. Hence, also, I think that graphic with you know the light bulb going on, <laughs> or just the idea. It's similar, like the idea. But so, what's this? This electricity, where we measure it, like all electricity, in hertz hurts right so and, and it tells you here that when your brain is between frequency is 7.5 to 12 Hertz mm -hmm. you're in meditative state the idea is to get yourself into alpha mode in a positive way in a, in a good healthy wholesome way so that you can then put in suggestions to your brain to your subconscious and because I say you're being brainwashed all the time whether you're aware of it or not by the television as you said uh, just media propaganda people speaking all the time repeating certain things to you like your mother might be telling you oh you're never gonna get married or uh, you know your father would say oh you'll never be a success in business if you keep hearing these things all the time you sort of get brainwashed into suggest this 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 uh, beliefs you begin to receive them and now they've become yours even on a deeper level whether you're aware of it or not so you all your life have been brainwashed <laughs> you know all well intended by your family all well intended by your teachers nonetheless brainwashed which means that you are not really free 
Uh, you, you are not really aware now what is yours, what is not yours. So we want to begin to take over our brain. We want to take over and start programming it the way we want to program it, right? The, with the outcomes we want, the person we want to come. And now you might say, but well, I'm an adult now. You might say, I'm, I'm an adult. What's done is done. <laughs> Damage is done. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Um, what's happening is neurogenesis. In the past 10 to 15 years, scientists have found out that the brain is keep, keeps producing new neurons, new cells. And the more you repeat a certain thought, the more it grows into new neural connections. In other words, you can reform your brain. We can reform. Similar to if you work out muscles, if you go to the gym, right? Your muscle cells will, will take on, you know, a new form. Hence, you build a muscle. Correct? Yes. The brain is a muscle. The brain is, works exactly like a muscle. So the more you train your brain in a certain way, the more it takes on that form. And you're already training your brain. For example, through worry thoughts. If you keep repeating worry thoughts, you're just very well trained in worry thoughts. Mm -hmm. Right? You have friends like that. They are expert worriers. Absolutely. Not warriors, warriors. Mm -hmm. They are expert worriers. You know? Uh, we do things very well. You do you very well, Maria your gestures, the way you speak, the way you smile, the way you react, you do you because you've been practicing being you for the past 30 years. <laughs> right? You do you. You do Sandy very, very well. You're doing yourself very, very well. You play that act very well. You do that role. Not in a fake way, but you're playing that role very, very well. You're like an, it's your, you've trained it. You know, like if I say something, you know, some sexual joke, you're going to take it in a certain way because you're just used to taking it like that. Another person would take, hear the same joke and take it in a completely different way. And so therefore you can go back to the uh, quote of Aristotle who said, we are what we repeatedly do. Mm -hmm. Excellence, therefore, is a habit. And in fact, they say it takes like 10,000 hours to become an expert at something. Like even if, if you started, uh, Nikki, to play, I don't know, piano, all you need to do is put in 10,000 hours and you will gain some level of mastery. I, mean, what's that? I, don't, know. <laughs> I don't know, calculate days, years, whatever, because you can do that all in one year or you can do it in five years, depending. But it's the repetition you said. Right? The repetition yeah. and then the, the, the repetition yeah. and the refining, you just keep, keep getting better at doing your behaviors. Like kids who have temper tantrums, they just, if they're allowed to have tenter, temper tantrums by their parents, mm -hmm. they will become experts at having temper tantrums. So when they become older and they become a manager, what are they going to have? They're going to have anger management problems. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, one of the first things I ask, you know, my clients who have anger management issues is like, how did your parents react when you were young? How were you disciplined? Were you disciplined? But is it changeable? We just said, yes, it is. Because of what? Because of training. You can train your brain. And if you train your brain while you're in alpha mode, Alpha, state, you said. that meditative mm -hmm. state, then you put it on steroids. Okay, you, you can learn that. You can absorb these new thoughts, mm -hmm. you know, at an accelerated rate. In the meditative state, these thoughts are mm -hmm. still thoughts. In order for this to become behavior, yeah. it needs to be practiced. Yeah, well, yeah, first you program because before every action okay. comes a thought, a belief. Before every action, always know that thought precedes action. So, how do we program our brain? Because meditation, as Maria correctly brought up, is very difficult. And I will demonstrate that to you. It's very hard for the brain to focus. Okay, so one way of meditating, for example, is to be looking at a candle flame. 
with your eyes open. It's one of, you know, beginner's technique in meditation, but it's also very, um, it's, a, it's a good feeling. I don't know, I, was, I was always liked meditating with a candle. Um, so you can meditate with a candle, but still thoughts will come and thoughts will go and when you sit down to meditate you are going to be thinking of oh I got to go to the garage to change my tires oh I have to pay that bill for the electricity oh it just your mind goes what they call it in yoga is the monkey mind mm -hmm. it's like a little chimpanzee goes from branch to branch to branch to branch to branch and so how, what do you do with this little monkey what do you do with the monkey well you give it a task so if you give it a task and keep giving it repeatedly you will not allow it to break off into other things so that's why you say I'm gonna sit and watch this candle I'm gonna focus on this candle so all meditation all hypnosis has a, an induction phase where you look to collect your energy collect your awareness and bring it to this one thing because when you have laser focus then your your brain can change when your brain is scattered imagine a sun ray the sun rays mm -hmm. compared to a laser a laser can burn through material mm -hmm. say if you have a tissue paper or a leaf and you 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 put the sun's rays through a magnifying glass it will burn through in the material world it will burn that leaf it will burn that tissue paper if you have scattered sunlight it's not going to burn anything. It's not going to enter the material realm. So the, the, the prime focus of meditation is to concentrate your energy. But people have difficulty doing this all by themselves. If I say now close your eyes for one minute and just think of one task. Just think of your name. Alright? We can even try that now if you like. Just see what happens to your mind within one minute. So we have to find a way of concentrating it on what? On the result we want. Because as I was talking about earlier, many people are experts in negative and fear-based anxiety thinking. Mm -hmm. And what happens with that is it's a self-fulfilling prophecy. For example, if I say, don't think of a pink elephant. Think of anything you want, anything you want, but not a pink elephant not a pink elephant not a pink elephant what do you do think of a pink elephant so we have got to get our mind in order we have got to focus it if we are ever going to transform it and thereby transform our life and in particular uh, since you were here at some earlier sessions those of you who were from the earlier askesis you will have come up with your mission statement well I did not forget that mission statement that mission statement is the result you want correct I have a spa by the sea I'm earning two hundred and fifty thousand dollars per year and I'm in health and radiance and have loving people around me your mission statement okay or whatever your mission statement well you still want that to happen right so the IQC's method doesn't leave you hanging it's gonna make you make that mission statement turn into a reality Yay! <laughs> it's a magic tool really it is a power tool self hypnosis or self induced meditation whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. alpha state will get you there and what we have in the Alkestis method is an mp3 if you look in the book there is a free downloadable mp3 on that chapter there we are. Which page is it? Page 55. You have, in this version of the book, an MP3. An MP3 which you will listen to once a day. Oh, so this is music. It's not music. It's a, it's a, it's a guided meditation. Lovely. A guided meditation. And if you notice, I upload a guided meditation once a week. Once a week, a guided meditation because I like to change them too. Mm -hmm. um, these meditations, that one in particular, is for your mission statement. The other guided meditations I do, you know, I get creative sometimes, I give stoic lessons, other affirmations, but these particular MP3s 
are for reprogramming your mind so that it will create your mission statement that outcome you want I have a question for you um, for someone that's really very new to meditating mm -hmm. correctly mm -hmm. I've, I've tried meditating with um, guidance or on my mm -hmm. own I, I have an immense monkey mind it's mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. um, and very rarely have I been able to succeed on focusing for a brief period of time so do you suggest that we follow one mp3 over and over again or switch because you do upload various guided meditations mm. so is what's the best technique do the same well, one over and over the, again until you yes, get right or i would change? i would stick to one why do you think religion has the same kirialation kirialation over the millennia mm -hmm. okay <laughs> it you know you don't have to get, but I, I offer it because I just simply like making them, okay? Yeah. I make them for myself, mm -hmm. uh, and they're not all for this purpose. Mm. The, 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 the ones I produce every week uh, are for simply teaching you something new while you're in alpha mode. Mm -hmm. But this one is in particular for your mission, to realize your mission. And it may take you five years with this meditation, but scientific studies have shown that those who practice daily meditation for 20 minutes on a specific goal specific outcome specific mission like your mission statement mm -hmm. have a 200 times more likability for it to turn out basically it's a kind of guarantee that it will turn out mm -hmm. not a hundred times 200 times it's it's something you can't measure. The, uh, your, this is why professional athletes use meditation and guided meditation and hypnosis and self-hypnosis. This is why very successful people do. What is another reason it works after five years? A guaranteed results of what you're putting in your statement. Who could guess? that it would turn out. You identify perhaps the, the tools or the methods to, to achieve your, your work. You identify the tool, the, the methods. Tools, the methods to achieve your work. Good point, but not what I'm looking for. Is it commitment? Ah, commitment. Everybody clap, please, for Maria. <laughs> if you keep on doing the same meditation it's like you're you're acting in a behavior that you want to replicate across other activities this is huge the fact that you don't change your mission statement the fact that I keep doing that and spending 15 minutes with the love of my life my mission <laughs> my purpose the fact that you make time 15 minutes even if it's on the train because you know now most people listen to my guided meditations on the train on the commute, yeah. in England they have in New York they're telling me I listen to you on the commute New Jersey New York um, England in England uh, you know Maidenhead okay so this is it you say I'm not changing my mission statement it's like I'm not changing my wife <laughs> at least for five years <laughs> you know then you can have kids then something can materialize from that love, from that identification, that commitment to the mission statement. It's the mission statement you're committed, committing to. And that will mobilize all of your energy. Can I ask a question about meditation? Yeah. Because um, whether it's guided or not, I always fall asleep. That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, because it just means that you need the rest, you need the relaxation. And that's fine because especially with the guided meditation, it keeps going into your mind. It's hypno-learning, you know. If you find that it's not working out in the first, you know, few minutes of mm -hmm. practicing, mm. do you just quit and do it some other time or do you just stick with it mm. even if it doesn't seem to be working at that time? Because you're either, yeah. you know, you're, you're aggravated, you're tired, you're falling asleep. Look, it is, good, it is good to have a certain time allotted during the day. If you know you're going to be doing it on the train, it's good to do it on the train. Right. No one stops you. It's good to have even a little place. Mm -hmm. Like some people have a little yoga mat or a little corner, meditation corner, where they'll lie there. It's a space, a sacred space, a little altar in your home. If you're in the office, okay, you've got to switch some things off. And you set aside some time. You know what? Replace your midday nap if you have such a thing. You know, some people say power napping. Mm -hmm. Who can power nap? Uh, you need someone to guide you on the MP3. The MP3 is like to support you to focus. 
Otherwise, you really you have to be a master meditator to have no assistance at all. So anyone who thinks you're just going to learn meditation from day one, it's a practice, it's a skill. And why not have the training wheels? Why not have someone just, you know, nudging you to focus your thoughts? That's the, the purpose of the, the, the MP3. And um, you say that uh, meditation uh, mm -hmm. waves uh, frequency yes. is the same than, than uh, hypnosis? Uh, hypnosis. Yes, there's various so grades. It's closer to, to sleep? Clo it goes between theta, I mean there's hypnosis at alpha and deep, deep, deep hypnosis theta. In uh, meditation, the point is not to fall asleep, mm -hmm. it's to be aware. And I often say to people, it's like that state that you are early in the morning bef when you're still in bed, mm -hmm. you are aware that you are awake, but you're not really moving. You're kind of still in this sleep paralysis but you are aware of being awake in between sleep and awake. This is, by the way, also a great place to just throw in your mission statement in the morning uh, when you're in, in between, you know, or doing it through the MP3 and or, I would say, do it in the morning as well. Repeat your mission statement. Uh, it will give a sense to your day. It will, it, will, it will help you clear out what's important, what's not important when you connect with your mission statement through the MP3. It's like a daily prayer. In a way, it's a daily prayer. We are sort of replacing the daily prayer uh, with an intentional meditation, an intentional guided uh, you know, meditation exercise. Because why? Because, uh, you know, whether you believe or not, this is irrelevant. If you believe in God, you can also uh, continue with your prayer to God each day. It goes very well, you know, just instead of praying for your mission, oh, please, hope it comes true, wish it comes true, please, please, God, I'll be a good person. <laughs> uh, you can now use scientific knowledge to just simply... Uh, name it and claim it, you know. Use the fact that your brain is a supercomputer and can be hacked. We know now that it can be hacked. So, you don't have to give up your faith, by all means, continue. Uh, but use the scientific evidence. Use the scientific evidence. So let's just go through the steps of the meditation. Because the idea is also that you can self-meditate, not self-medicate, <laughs> self-meditate. Um, what are the stages? And that's in the ascesis. Where's the ascesis? Mm -hmm. So let's go to the instructions. The first thing you do is you lay on a bed or a, a chair, a comfortable chair. You will cover yourself with a coat, a little blanket, Something to keep you warm because what happens when you relax a lot? The temperature, drops. temperature drops. Exactly. As you know from massage, right? Mm -hmm. So you don't want the coolness waking you up and mm -hmm. making you feel uncomfortable. You want to feel safe and, and it has that sense of being protected. You're protected because in a way you're, you're vulnerable, right? As an animal, you're trained to be alert and look for danger. So mm -hmm. you're just turning off and covering yourself, comforting yourself. The next thing is you'll lay back with your legs slightly apart, like don't let them, your legs touch, and arms kind of open like that. Palms up. In yoga it's called the position of the dead body. Savasana. Um, just because if you throw a corpse, that's the way it's going to sit. It's the most relaxed state. Because when your hands are down, they're ready for action up, it's kind of receptive, it's open, very open. What else? Then you press play. I've made it easy for you. And somewhere in the middle of the MP3, it will say to you, please repeat your deep affirmation now. So you have to know it off by heart. You have to have practiced it. And you might get into a little panic there. Oh my God, I forgot my mission statement. Don't do anything, just breathe and say, okay, I'll think of it next time, or just connect with something from your mission statement. But the best, that's why I prompt you twice in the MP3. I prompt you at the beginning and in the middle. In the beginning, it's more just to refresh your memory of your mission statement. Just to refresh your memory. Nothing's happening there. You're not in hypnosis. So the instructions are as follows. You lie down, and my voice, or the guider's voice, 
will say to you, please prepare yourself for deep relaxation. So you just, you know, get your, it says arrange your clothes, arrange your blanket, arrange your position. So all of a sudden, you know, you're like, oh God, I have to go to the bathroom. So you, because you know, once you tell yourself to relax, all of a sudden you remember everything else. So you may have to go to the bathroom or whatever, but slowly you will be arranged, you will arrange your things. And then I say to you, I say now, take just three deep breaths. So you do three deep breaths, I help you count them, you're already relaxing more. We're going to do it, we're going to do it, I'm just giving you the instructions, I'm going to, we're going to actually do a little test run. Then I say to you, now imagine the outer sounds, because anyway, your mind all of a sudden, hears all, everything. it hears everything. It starts, oh there's a car passing by, oh there's this, oh they're talking downstairs. All of a sudden you're going to notice that these people are talking downstairs. The clock ticking. The clock ticking. So instead of fighting that, you say, okay little monkey, let me take you by the hand. You say, yes, these people are talking. Yes, that car is passing by. Everything's happening. Okay, you're safe now. We just, we, we go like a radar and we see, ah, everything's safe. So now bring your attention to your body. I'm giving the little monkey something to do. I'm saying, think of your head, feel your head, relax your facial muscles, relax your shoulder. And we go down all the way through the body, relaxing each part of your body. Then we go back to the breath and we begin to count the breaths backwards from 20 or 10 to 0, mentally counting backwards. Once there we're in that relaxed state, after we counted the breaths backwards, I will give you a visualization. Okay, it might be you're on the top of a mountain, you're walking by the sea, anything. Anything relaxing, a relaxing beautiful, you might be in a temple, just a beautiful inspiring space. Or in a cave, in a safe cave where you feel nice and warm. You, that's why I make many mp3s because people like different things they're like oh I like the cave can you make me one with the cave I like the mountain can you make <laughs> I want the you know so they, uh, you do also personalized mp3s and then so we go you're in this beautiful place now repeat your deep affirmation three times I know I'm talking about it and you're already falling asleep the mere suggestion of hypnosis makes relaxation. people relaxation that's mm -hmm. you know that's embedded commands it's it's just that's the way the brain is taught you know you just give it what to do so there we have it's just good. now bring yourself your awareness to your um, mission statement repeat it three times inwardly mm -hmm. and then slowly I'll bring you out of it that's the basic I one that's the way you are I'm, I'm, I'm sure you very relaxing <laughs> And your voice yeah. is very soothing, yes. I speak now. Okay. The, the, the tone and um, just the, the steps. Even before we started the meditation and we said we're going to meditation, I was listening to your voice and thinking... <gasps> so this is a very powerful tool. I'm surprised, you know, when people learn it, how many people don't yeah. uh, use it. And it's like... It's spoon-fed, you know, I'm giving it on an MP3, what more do you want? You know it can get you to the outcome you want. Okay. And um, I think it scares people. It's like, you know, giving you a Ferrari, just, just what to do with a Ferrari, you know. You're like, I'm so used to going with my little car, you know. It's, you're giving a huge power tool and, and people don't, you know, they're a little intimidated by, they're a little afraid, I don't know what, I don't know the reasons. Um, simple, just fear of oh my god what's going to happen if my affirmation becomes a reality well, I can understand you can see that, that? Mm -hmm. that's why choosing that affirmation is we did that work in the previous mm -hmm. sessions and you might go over you have to really find what you want it's like if there was a genie and the, that genie can give you anything you want but not in the terms of something like a winning a lottery, but something, anything you want in your life, something that's achievable in your life. That's why I said your, your goals have to be uh, ambitious, but not, you know, from, you know, out of this world. They have to be smart goals, right? Specific, measurable, oh, I forgot the A, what A stands for. A? Attainable, achievable. 
exactly um, you know realistic time bound so once you have a smart goals a smart mission statement then this will turbocharge that process connects you with your mission every day and just multiply the the capacity for it to happen. So, but success is an outer is not the quality of life. Not a quality. The quality of life, the limousine is in your brain. If you want to sit in the back of a limousine or be in a jacuzzi, it's in here, it's between your two ears. That state of relaxation, of comfort, of a clean conscience, of uh, love, you know, that you you can create that in your brain you know people go to the mall they want to buy the stuff that's going to make them feel good and I see it they buy the stuff and there's just crap between their brains and they're feeling crappy I always see that it's like you consumerism know. on one hand and on the other it's just what you said they're perfect worriers they're worriers they're worrying yeah. all the time worrying, yeah. and instead of dealing with the worries worry or resentful yeah. or jealous um, envious you know they have all this crap uh, emotional baggage all of that has not been worked through and so it's not something you can just buy you know a Louis Vuitton and just feel great you may feel great for a moment, like, wow, I walked into the store, they made me feel important, you know. Um, so you get the feeling. Or you link yourself with the girl in the commercial, and you're like, it's me holding the bag, and I'm in the Amazon, and I've got my Louis Vuitton. I don't know what the fan is. For men, it might be more cars. I've got the Porsche. I'm sexy. I'm this. Okay, you, can, do, you do feel that for a little. I mean, we all buy stuff. and There is a, a certain serotonin. Mm -hmm. Uh, surge but really after a week or two aren't you exactly where with yourself again I even say that for travel now you know I used to travel much more now I'm like really the important thing is to to have that beautiful feeling every day throughout the day that, that that magical feeling that you get when you are on vacation and I'm not saying it's not a nice break but really the real vacation is getting your stuff in order your crap in order in here if you can work that through you will be on a kind of constant I'm not going to say vacation because you do have your responsibilities but all this toxicity uh, you know that you want a break from and most more often you bring that stuff with you if you go with a family for example if you haven't worked out your relationships this stuff is going to come up even worse when you're on vacation mm -hmm. so I don't know it's it I believe yeah, it's the work if we don't do the work you can't have the free lunch so, once again, we come to a beautiful end of a master class. I don't know what time it is, but I do have to go. We finished a little earlier today, but um, I have to go to the Hilton to things. Does anyone want to come? I've got a party to go to at the Hilton. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome to come. We can bring plus one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.